At first glance, Russian cruiserweight Dmitry Kudrashov enters the ring looking vaguely familiar. A robe and hood cloaking his ominous eyes, scraggly chin beard flowing freely, and it dawns on you. The guy is a spinning image of Rasputin, the peasant mystic who held huge sway over the Russian royal family of Tsar Nicholas in the early 20th century and who nearly escaped an assassination attempt that included poisoning, two bullets in the head, blunt force trauma, and finally drowning. Then Kudrashov starts throwing punches, and you realize he may be the only man who could have single-handedly killed Rasputin. And like Rasputin, Kudrashov's powers are hard to fathom. Imposing and strong, Kudrashov is an offensive freak, carrying a nearly inhuman amount of power in both hands. He's as liable to send a foe off to Slumberville with a concussive hook or a booming overhand right and has left a trail of cruiserweight destruction in his wake. But the Rasputin analogy ends right there. Unlike his famous doppelganger, Kudrashov is anything but indestructible. In fact, he's easier to hit than porcelain in a men's room. Plotting footwork, a squared up stance, questionable conditioning, and rudimentary angles make his defense as porous as his offense is devastating. The end result though was perhaps the most entertaining TV fighter in the sport, putting audiences through thrill ride after thrill ride. Kudrashov is always one punch away from incredible drama, as indicated by his 20 and one record with 20 KO wins and one KO loss. Should the losses begin to pile up, expect Kudrashov to summon up his inner Rasputin one more time and fight off the seemingly inevitable for as long as humanly possible. Fans should expect no less from a man with seemingly mythic powers.